What is happening my Poké fans? So in this video I'll be talking about the recent finish of the PWCC auction, one of the biggest pl platforms for Pokemon auctions that just ended yesterday. What did he say? Some crazy insane hitters, some nostalgic cards that we remember from the good old days. And boy, the auctions have been pure fire guys. So let's just jump right into this. The top 10 most expensive sold Pokemon cards on the PWCC platform, guys. All right, guys, so those who don't know, this is the PWCC auctions of October. So this is the first time PWC have ran this auction on their own platform instead of eBay. It used to be on eBay because of the just vast amount of shield uh, bids on the, on eBay. They've actually banned PWCC. So they decided to do it on their own. And it's still like the, pretty crazy what they've sold for. So this one's the most expensive one. Uh, let's go here, Pikachu from the World Champs. So that's from 2013, the primary Pikachu carrying the trophy. If you won this card at the 2013 Pokemon Trading Card Game World Champions, you may return to battle the return to battle the best in 2014. Congratulations! So there's a little uh, World Championship Championship stamp in the corner there. Pikachu holding the trophy in Happy Days. So that sold for $65,000, which is pretty pretty expensive. You can only imagine, like, imagine if this was a 10, how much would this actually go for? Would it be double, tripled, or quadruple the price, or even more? We'll never know. So we just got to keep an eye out on the PWCC auctions, because there have been a lot of juicy stuff on there. Uh, second up, we have Fire, not Fire Logo, Team Rocket Returns, Tor Torchic, one of the first gold there, the first gold stars from the EX series. We have Torchic. An absolute beautiful gem here. 20, 20, no, 2004 Gold Star Torchic from EX Team Rocket Returns. One of the most dazzling, razzle dazzle cards I have actually seen. Uh, got fireworks spring back. So this sold for $50,000, a PSA 10. And we've got the bat. And this is a stunning car. Torchic with a little wink. And there's the Gold Star. Gold Stars are pretty hard to pull. Uh, from from the EX boxes. Only some of the EX boxes have the gold stars, not all of them. And EX Team Rocket Returns being the one of the first ones to have the gold stars introduced in their packs with the starters. So you got Torchic, Mudkip, and Tor the Torchic, Mudkip, and Trico in the gold star love. So that was the second most, fifty thousand dollars, which is. <laughs> and then we have a shiny Magic Arm. It's like something. Yeah, I think it's from Near Destiny. The English or well, near revelation, near revelation, I think it was. So, we're at 2000 from the 2000 era Japanese near three shining magic cup, uh, 600 point fan club promo. And so, there's a shining magic cup, there's a regular magic cup in red, so just going along. So, that's what Kin Hiro no Roko. So, we've got that, we've got Ryu uh, no Kizuna some of its attacks you can expand this so there's a little detail on what you want to see available exclusively in japan pokemon card fan clubs were only obtainable to players of the game who earned points from such things as attending or winning tournaments so we have a beautiful card which you can actually get i think it's from uh, neo revelation if i remember the english version beautiful card a 10 which sold for where did it go i think it sold for if you minimize that, we'll show the price 30k. And just to let you know, guys, this is all in American dollars, not in Australian. Ooh, and then we have a one of the most nostalgic cards ever from the Pokemon history of TCG. We have none other than the first edition Shadowless of Charizard PSA 9, sold for 29.5k. You can't get any more nostalgic than that from the base set Shadowless first edition. You can see Shadowless there. First edition Pokemon Power Energy Burn, Fire Spin doing a whopping 100 damage resistance to Fighting Rock and Weak Against Water. So 29.5k. So what's that? That's the fourth one, I think. One, two, three, four. And then we have the first edition um, Cabbage. A perfect 10. PSA 10. So for 25k. One of the big three. 99.9. First edition stamp. Gonna be pretty pretty happy with that. Solar beam 60 damage. Not huge. Weak against fire. Where's the resistance at? 
This one, 20, 25k, not too shabby, even though the first edition PSA 9 sells for more on the Charizard side. And then we have this one, which I haven't seen too many of. Whoops. Not saving. So yeah, I think it's number 5 or 6. So 2010 Japanese Prime Master Scroll Hollow Daisuke Club. 8,600 points. It's sold for 19.5k. Okay, so this one's got the silver border. The title even has silver. And even on the scroll and the centerpiece, it's all silver. Shiny, bright. Who doesn't love shiny cardboard? And this deserves 19.5k. Let's just read a little bit of the description. Well, that's a bit of a description there. I'll just read it like the first few sentences. So. The ultimate fan club prize card ever produced in the Master Scroll promotional card is a rare and highly sought after item card and it is one of the LP promotional cards, a series of Japanese promotional cards tied in with the Pokemon card game Legend Era of Cards which started with Heart Gold Soul Silver. That's Heart Gold Soul Silver came out around 2011 roughly for the English ver version. Uh, collection in Japan in June 2010, this card is available to all Daisuke Club members fan club as a master rank prize. You want to obtain this prize, you have to obtain 8,600 action points. Okay, so there's a little game to win this and oh, I can't say much this. Let me zoom in. There's a little promo stamp there, 2010. Silver, I just love the silver border. So where are we up? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is seventh highest. So from near destiny, the shiny, shining Charizard, New Destiny, first edition. So see, New Destiny. There's, there's four different types of near from the near set. There's four different types. Uh, first edition stamp, shining Charizard. So that's all silver. It's shining. So it's very unique card. One of the New Destiny. One of the first ones to actually have the shining cards uh, in the Wizards of the Coast era when they were wrapping Pokemon. So this sold for sixteen thousand dollars for a PSA ten, perfect ten. This is, an <clears throat> this is another gem card that everyone's sort of that everyone's after. Near Destiny, probably one of the best uh, Neo sets from the yeah Neo set. I must admit, beautiful card. Just flying Charizard, just doing Charizard things. That's seven and eighth MTG Fire Left Green. The ninth we have another Gold Star from Holland Phantoms. That's. Let's just do a little zoom up on this bad boy. So Garage in the Delta Species, a gold star, 2006 Pokemon Gold Star, another one of these beautiful gems from EX Holland Fountains. The EX getting getting some love here. So it's a gold star, shiny Gyarados in red. So got Spiral Growth, all that blast, all the amount of uh, energy cards you need to use this bad boy card. And 13.5k sold for. So let's see the uh, ratio, it's got a little description here. Introduced as a special chase card for the Pokemon TCG, Gold Stars, Gold Star cards have a pull rate of one, only one per every two boxes. So you only get one Gold Star for every two boxes. That's uh, still pretty hard to pull. Although they didn't, it wasn't a huge print run, not like these days, but the modern sets, so you just mass print them. You did wonder if they will ever reprint the EX series, but probably not. Six, seven, eight. So this is the ninth one. So there's a first edition Charizard PSA eight, and that sold for twelve and a half thousand dollars for a PSA eight first edition Shadowless. And then we have this one Charizard. This is about the ninth. They're all the same. So twelve and a half, twelve and a half. Yeah. So so very really dumb. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. So kind of like ninth, tenth. We have a tie here. We have base set Charizard from the no Shadowless, no first edition, just straight up base set. So this is one that they printed heaps of, the base set original OG. 909, five spin. Base set 10, so 12.5k. So it's still quite a lot. Another 12.5k, we have this Charizard, tops, tops Chrome. Surprised this one sold for some. I guess it's a bit harder to grade these. So it's a Topps Chrome Charizard. Uh, sold for 12.5k. So this one, let's have a little uh, 
another huge description. Released in 2000 by Topps, series of the, of the Topps Chrome line of Pokemon Trade Car Games features. The first 78 in the Pokedex. See the back. So, yeah, there's a little description on the back. Number six is, uh, yeah, saying a bit about the characteristics of Charizard. That's uh, one of the OG uh, images of Charizard, even from the, the TV show. So, we've got Pokemon 06 Charizard, which is number, number six tops Chrome that produced this car. Sparkle, Sparkle, pretty much anything. Mostly, most things that are Charizard, yeah, just it's very eye catching. Then we have other ones such as Pikachu Econ Sample. Oh no, it's gonna. So, this is from Expedition. Uh, it's a sample one. Let's read more about samples. Uh, comes from Pokemon Pacific's personal collection. One of over 42,000 cards, wax, boxes, tickets, video games, comic books, and memorabilia items. Memorabilia items up for bid in October for the auction. Damn. I mean, it's worth that much. I got an Expedition one of this. I think it's a PSA 8 or 9. Uh, it's a non-holo. It's a common, so... The 9s don't go for much. Like 40, 50, 60 bucks. And so coming up 10th spot, this is a bit, bit of a tie here. Uh, let's go... got another trophy one. What's happening here? Why is it opening the chair? Is it... This is a BGS, the first BGS that's <laughs> sold for quite a bit, 12.5k. Uh, let's go... There are starters and Victini. I don't know why Victini is in the middle there. Getting some love. Slivey, Oshawa, and I think... P P Piglet? <clears throat> so this one sold for 12.5k. Uh, so quite an expensive one for BGS entering the auction. Uh, that's pretty much it. And this one, like I said, first edition Chinese. Well, even the Chinese ones are going for quite a bit. There's some crazy boxes here. There's like jungle, and this one's very cute. Lily Chan. Near Revelation Jungle. Legendary collection as well. Wow, there's some huge hitters here. They've, so the most expensive one overall is the uh, trophy car with Pikachu. Sixty-five thousand dollars USD. That uh, is a whopping car that probably a lot of collectors are after. I know there are a lot of uh, Pikachu fans out there. Okay, so all up there have been some massive hitters. You got stuff from the uh, Gold Star era. You know, Holland Fountains, uh, EX Team Rocket Return. That's a great set. The uh, trophy cards, uh, Charizard. Pretty much any auctions that's got high bids, uh, you're bound to have Charizard in there in the ranks, which is you know, expected in some ways. So I thought this, I want to keep an, an eye out. I, I know that some people have actually bought a lot of uh, slabs and actually made it, managed to get some some steals. For me, I had a, had a few looks. There's nothing that really intrigued me that I wanted to get in particular, but I'll have a closer. I'll, I'll uh, check it out on uh, in November when there's um, some good deals there. If there's anything that catches my eye, and guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of the PWCC auction. Did you guys manage to get some great steals? Are we uh, surprised on the outcome of some of them? The, the cost of some slabs? I know it was probably like hundreds, maybe yeah, probably hundreds of cars that got submitted on the PWCC auction. I'm not, and I know that next month is going to be the same thing. Going to be a lot of eye, eyes on on the auction right to the last second bids and uh, so there we have it guys um so as always I'll, as always guys keep safe stay out of trouble i'll see you on the next one